NFL fans and draft enthusiasts, we're a little over three weeks out from the 2022 NFL Draft, and today's topic of discussion is Clemson cornerback Andrew Booth Jr.'s scouting report. If you're familiar with the channel, welcome back. For those of you new to Couch Potato General Manager, thanks for stopping by. And if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. And as always, we look forward to your comments. Andrew Booth is somewhat of a polarizing prospect. Some consider him the top corner in the class, while others believe he's a raw, borderline first-round talent. I believe his elite ball skills, twitchy athleticism, competitiveness, and overwhelming upside puts him somewhere in the middle of the first round. Booth is what you might call a modern NFL scout's dream. Traits upon traits upon traits. However, those who throw cold water on Booth's prospects point to a lack of experience and technical refinement. Let's explore the next five plays that bring those sitting on the fence into the Andrew Booth camp. On this first play, you see Andrew Booth setting a physical edge and making it his business to attack the ball carrier. This is routine for Booth, and you love to see it from your corners, particularly those who play a lot of zone. On this next play, Booth does a great job of remaining square in man coverage and using his arms to control the receiver denying the fade route. Notice his eyes in the backfield. Not something you want to make a habit of while in man coverage, but his leverage and physicality results in a quality rep here. Now, depending on the evaluators, some believe Booth is more advanced in man coverage compared to zone and needs to improve his understanding of route combinations and when to vacate his landmarks, but I disagree wholeheartedly. The next several plays illustrate Andrew Booth's recognition in zone coverage and ball skills, the latter being beyond reproach. At the top of your screen, you'll notice the outside receiver runs a clear out while the slot receiver wheels around to the outside. Booth is in off coverage outside of the frame. The quarterback and wideout have a miscommunication, but Booth's recognition leads to him driving on this errant throw and making a terrific play on the ball. Booth shines in off coverage. On this play, Clemson is running cover three. Pittsburgh runs a flea flicker, and Kenny Pickett thinks he has the one-on-one -on -one look he wants. However, once again, Booth demonstrates impressive recognition, passing off the dig route in his primary coverage, and skying for interception in the deep middle of the field. Now on this next play, you be the judge. This game against NC State is widely considered Booth's worst tape. Emeka Mezzi went off in this game, and Booth allegedly allowed two touchdowns. The first was a brilliant back shoulder throw and catch. Booth was in good position, but some throws are just indefensible. On this play, you'll notice Booth opts for his patented press bail outside leverage approach. I see a safety who may or may not be responsible for the inside leverage bite hard on the play fake and vacate the middle of the field. That's just me. Others may see it differently. Here's a bonus for you. I'm sure you've seen it. Similar concept, the strong side safety helps with inside leverage. No play fake, and the tight end stays in the block. Booth does a great job of staying on top of the route and makes a spectacular one-handed interception against a substantially bigger opponent. Andrew Booth oozes athleticism and flashes twitchy recovery skills, which is why I believe some evaluators have convinced themselves that he's a shutdown man corner. But it's his lack of technical refinement that leads to missteps in man coverage and necessitates his impressive recovery ability too frequently. I'd argue that he has traits to become a sticky man corner, but he appears much more comfortable in zone. Clemson under former defensive coordinator Brett Venables played an overwhelming amount of zone coverage. Even though he wasn't asked to play man-to-man -man regularly, those tools are in place. I love the fact that he will play through the receiver and run support and the bubble game and set a physical edge. He thrives in off coverage with his eyes in the backfield, but needs to improve on staying on top of the route when aligned in press. Mirror and match technique needs some work, but he's excellent when he puts his hands on the receiver at the line of scrimmage. I'd say ditch the mirror and match altogether. I'd much rather you jam or reroute the receiver at the line of scrimmage. I'm not concerned with inexperience. While he only has 15 starts in three years, he's got over 950 defensive snaps, and he's more advanced in terms of recognition than generally given credit for. Given the proper coaching and a few minor tweaks here and there, I think Booth is going to be an excellent player. If he lands with a team that typically plays cover two or cover three, he could be a star in short order.